Okay. It would appear that this pipe is mandatory. <laughs> Like I got lucky not to take damage there. <laughs> My luck did not last for long. There's a thwomp somewhere? Peach's world. <laughs> There's a moment of panic there. <laughs> I tried to save a shell for myself. It was almost my doom. Oh, thank goodness, a power-up. Finally. I was trying not to let the Bomb, destroy my shell.
I disagree. Uh, Janicris, welcome to the uh, stream. Thank you for the follow. Things, uh, things are, are not going super well for me in the uh, game, but I am uh, very grateful that you've come on, on board with us, my friend. a few hours ago when I could clear like five or so levels at a time. <laughs> Remember the good days? I'm I have oh how oh how how things have changed. I've fallen apart. <laughs> uh sir ahoy Welcome to uh, welcome to Mario Maker. Welcome to uh, welcome to a punishing night of Mario Maker. Those days are gone, apparently. See, that's what I should have done before, is just put the shell down. Uh, oh no, I still took damage. <gasps> Quick! I tried to save that until the last second, because I wanted to kick the shell through everybody, but I saved it a second too late. What's going on up there? Must be for the thumbnail. Record. Brownie is number one. All right, uh, lost to life. For those who've just come in, we're uh, we're attempting to clear as many levels as possible on a single life. So there's a lot of restarts. <laughs> My PB tonight is six. I cleared six levels on one life earlier, and I've done five a few times, but I've been in a really long streak of bad luck lately. <laughs> past uh, past an hour or two have not gone particularly well. But uh, trying to keep spirits high and hope for some uh, hope for some good levels. A key, don't mind if I do. Please, game. Why? Uh, that's rough. Yeah, I know. It's pretty. It's pretty tough because, uh, you know, with Mario Maker levels, anything can happen, and going into them with that, with going into them blind and expected to come out successful is a a pretty tall order. If a level kills me, I still try to clear it for the extra practice, though the run is the run is dead. Oh yeah. Mario time.
Fair enough. You know, I'm not particularly happy about that piranha plant, but I can't complain about a piranha plant coming out of a pipe, right? That's that's typical Mario fare. Got some trustworthy arrows. I'm going to stay as far away from that pipe as I can, which is not far at all. That pipe is mandatory. <laughs> On a streak of one. Right, I don't think I died on that level. I don't always remember. I'm not trying to cheat. One more, it's one more than zero, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Eventually, my luck's got to turn back around, though, right? It's, it's, it's got to be, it's a st statistical impossibility that I get, that I get bogus levels forever, right? It's a statistical certainty that I make foolish blunders forever, though. I didn't think about that. Oh, uh, fire flower. What is this generosity? Two levels back to back. I'm practically uh, an expert now. We're almost all the way to 50. 50 is the ultimate goal, by the way. In case I didn't specify it. I've been trying to say that I'm trying to clear as many levels as I can because because stating such an absurd goal as 50 just kind of hurts. <laughs> the star! I fell through the swamps because of the star. Oh, we're back to zero. <laughs> Fifty sounds impossible. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people are a lot of people are taking on this challenge, and a lot of people who are a lot better than me at Mario Maker are uh, struggling with it. So, it's fun. It's tempting because it's see because you play in normal difficulty, right? So that gives it the illusion that it's doable. It's like, oh, they're normal difficulty levels. How hard could they be? The moon took away that spiky shelmet. I wanted to wear that.
There's a clear condition. <laughs> Come on, back up Yoshi. How fast can you beat Super Mario World without secrets? Just completing the main levels? Uh, not very fast, Travesty. I would, uh... It would take me uh, probably a couple hours. I I very rarely play games for time though. I'm a I'm not really a I'm not really a speedrunner or or particularly interested in uh, achieving good times in games. I'm a, I'm I'm always pretty happy to to go slowly and try to look for secrets and try to find like weird things about the levels to to think about and comment on that's not not really compatible with a with a speedy playthrough oh look at that there were infinite yoshis right here in this room i just never knew cuz i never moved I did speedrun one game. I, I used to speedrun Castlevania the Adventure on the Game Boy. And that was kind of fun to do for a while, but so that I have the I have the experience of what a of what chasing a speed running goal is like. But I think the one game is good for me. Mario goes to the swimming pool. Victory. Oh yeah, Mario time. You beat Super Mario World in under an hour like that? Right on. That's uh, that's definitely better than I could do. I'm pretty familiar with the game, but not not super familiar with it. Um, I used to play it all the time when I was a kid, but... My memory, my memory of stuff fade. My memory for video games fades pretty quickly when I don't keep up with it. If I stop playing a game for a while, I, pr I forget most of it pretty instantly.
What a fun, what a fun level. I'm so glad someone made this. There's, it's not like, it's not like there aren't a hundred thousand levels exactly like it either. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy, extra layers of nonsense. <laughs> All right, that's gotta be it though. I, I hate the levels on here. <laughs> I'm getting some pretty, I'm getting some pretty rough ones. I got super lucky with that one. Do you see the timer? That one was lost as soon as it began. We were three in. We were three in, but it's all, it's all gone. Because <laughs> I didn't know about the star at the beginning. How did I miss that star? <laughs> that star is impossible to collect, I swear. <laughs> There's not really a star there. It is an illusion. You notice I'm I'm not very good at wall jumps. Something about Mario wall jumps, they're tough for me. I can do them fine in Mario 64, but uh, 2D Mario wall jumps have always been tough for me. I think Mega Man X. I think Mega Man X has some of the finest wall jumping.
House. Puzzle solving. I know a lot of people like uh, Super Metroid's wall jumps. Uh, I don't um, like them very much. But I can, I think I can understand why people do. It's alright, my odds of making it through a puzzle solving level were low anyway. <laughs> Um, I don't remember who it was, but I was watching someone and they were talking about the wall jumps. No, it was just such an easy level in Super Metroid. And they said the reason they do like them is because they've never had the problem of accidentally doing a wall jump when they don't want to. And my thoughts on that were fair enough because... I can't even do a wall jump in Super Metroid when I want to, so I'm never I don't have to worry about accidentally doing one, that's for sure. A completionist? Um no. I it wasn't him. It might have been... It might have been Matthew Matosis, but I don't... I can't... I can't, uh... I can't recall. I know I watched. Uh, I know I watched um, some of his stuff recently. I have a feeling that it that it wasn't actually him though that 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 said that, but I don't know who else it could have been. My brain is busy with sports. No worries. No worries. I wasn't really going to try and... I wasn't... I wasn't... I'd given up on trying to place it. Made it through. That's two levels. World. 
world record. Is that two or is that just one? That's two. Excellent. I'm so excited about such a uh, small number. Lazy attempt? Oh no. Oh, is this a dev exit or is this a troll? Hey, what if I can get 50 levels with dev exits in a row? <laughs> I'll be in really good shape. Mario and Luigi World. No, I got betrayed by one of those earlier. Three levels. Green Groves. How did I pick the exact wrong time to jump? I was standing there for so long and... I finally jumped after all that time and it was, uh... It was the exact wrong time. Five stages cleared. We never thought we'd be so far again. Bowser's Tower of Tarrer. I'm I'm tarrified. Well, it was nice knowing you friends. <gasps> There's multiple.
I missed my cat suit. I can't believe I made it through that level. <laughs> level looks pretty sick. It was terrifying. All right, we just tied our PB. Here's our chance to make history. Over that, oh no. It says it's a music level. Hang on. I think maybe if I just kept running these, I would run under these. But now I've messed it up, so. No, it's dead. The run is dead. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, Shino. What's the? Uh, that's the worst thing about having pets is that uh, they don't last quite as long as we do. If I had just run. If I had just listened to the title and run, we would have had a new PB. If your pet's a turtle, they'll probably outlive you. I guess uh, turtles do hang in there a while, don't they?
Another defeat a Meowser level. Oh, what do we got up here? Some funny business, that's for sure. Oh, even better. Not even better. What? I probably should be liking or booing these stages, but... I kind of started off not doing it, and I'm just stuck with it. This uh, level designer. <sighs> if I hear this level designer is in the hospital, I'm not going to send them a get well card. <laughs> Maybe if someone else is sending them a get well card, I'll sign it. But I'm not but I'm not getting them a card on my own. <laughs> I forgive them a little bit since I cleared the level. Auto Mario boss battle. I believe one of those tags. boss I think I think I shouldn't have done that it looked like boom boomers is gonna run right off the edge of the stage see you later not the boss Ooh, these P switches are the boss
If the, if the level designer is me, I would have done it for payback after what Frowny said about the Scooby games. Well, that they're all aggressively mediocre. <laughs> I stand by that review. I was expecting him to go off the edge. I didn't know that they, he could stop himself. I guess I learned something valuable. I gotta go. Got work today. See you next stream. Thank you for being here, Greg. As always, I really appreciate your company, my friend. And I look forward to seeing you next time, hopefully. More foolishness. I was trying to make him send himself off the edge. That's just not something he does. Oh no. Oh no. With the chain chomps too? Come on. People who make levels in Mario Maker, the thing about it is they never include power-ups. Power-ups are so rare in Mario Maker levels, and it's like, Mario is not Contra. It's not meant to be a one-hit game. <laughs> uh. From the top. Just like a climbing frame? Oh. oh, this looks disgusting. That's all right. I don't think I want anything to do with this level.
You know what? This level looks ugly, but I have to say, I actually think it's probably not that bad. I think I misjudged this level. I don't think it's good, but I think it's not bad. unexpected. Paragon Mage, welcome in. Welcome to a devastating challenge in Mario Maker that I'm making really no progress toward. <laughs> the goal is to clear as many levels as possible on a, a single life. So far my PB is 6. But the ultimate goal is at least 50, so I'm pretty far off. Why? Why'd that guy turn me around? I don't accept that. Worst level would be one that gives the goal away? What do you what do you what do you mean? I'm not sure I follow. actually died on that level, so we gotta restart. Probably go for about another half an hour, my friends. That's what I feel I probably have the strength for. This is just... I don't know what this is. I don't think I like this level. <laughs>
I definitely don't like this level. It won't even let me quit. All right, from the top. Choose the one that's different, I assume. It's ex it was it's extraordinarily subtle. This one's a bit more obvious. Alright, not my favorite kind of levels, but definitely tolerable. Well, this is over. Every level with the squirrel suit is an immediate disaster, I've learned. So far, so good, but I'm not going to be that easily fooled. You can do it. Thank you for the vote of confidence. I hope I don't need the ability to uh, read Japanese, question mark. Hey, we're okay. Oh, yeah. time. Well, that one was decent, but I have been burned by so many squirrel levels. Two levels in. It would be a major accomplishment just to make it off of this stay uh, off of this screen to clear a uh, to clear a screen's worth of levels. Forget about the, the 50 goal. Hey, 
Okay, I think it's actually safe to stand on these. Yeah. And I don't need those coins. That was easy enough. One fifty coin, eh? And no, it's a multiplayer level. Hopefully, it's hopefully it's beatable single player. Ugh. No, I didn't want to hit that block. I don't trust it. So far, so good. Good thing I'm not playing multiplayer. This must be exhilarating to play it, it competitively. can't stop looking at this uh, controller. I'm using a a different controller. It's a it's a SNES style wired controller by Retrobit. I used it a little bit the other night when we played Horus, but this is my first time using it with a Mario game. Pretty decent.
Ah, oh, I wanted to save that shell. All right, not bad. Not bad. That that level had like just the right amount of uh, stress. <laughs> And we made it through, so no complaints. We're one away from tying our PB for the third time. Bowser's ship sunk. Oh no. Where's the oh no? Bowser's the villain. We should celebrate. Leave his, uh, leave his ship down there. No! I was right next to the goal. And look, I think if I'd just done the opposite and just stayed up here at the top, all the way at the top, Oh, no, there's a blooper. Uh, what a way to, what a way to go. Apparently I'm just awful at swimming, right? PB remains six. We've achieved it twice. Snake lion. Is that like a cobra? Because they have like a. I think they look like they have a mane. They have those like wings on either side of their uh, head. To a good start. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was required. I'm not really that surprised, but... It is a shame, since there's only one. Well, look at that. So if I, even if I hadn't got hit on the first attempt, I still probably would have lost it. <laughs> like down below pipes next level after this is math based and not again the wrong <laughs> I used the wrong jump button uh, I don't even think I hit the jump button dead run anyway. Thought we might as well check. So that star is a troll, eh?
Night Light Fright. I'm afraid. Okay, a little less afraid now. Cool. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here anyway, so... <laughs> I know that you can jump onto a spring while it's uh, falling, but I got no idea. <laughs> I may have to, uh, I may have to train a lot of, uh, I may have to train a lot of Kaizo tricks to, uh, be able to make meaningful progress here. Legend of Zelda. If there are no other swords, I'm in trouble. I think there are probably not other swords. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Bowser's final castle. This is a bad time. Alright, I misunderstood how to do this. Sparrow, great to see you. Glad I got you, and Mario too, that's what we're up to. I'm glad you're here, my friend. Wasn't expecting to keep going for too much longer, but for you, my friend, you've given me a second wind. We're going to keep it rolling. You've been playing Mario on the 3DS right on? Which one have you been playing? Have you been playing... Uh, yeah, uh, there's too many, which just, uh, too many for me to guess. Which one have you been up to? Mario Maker and the new Super Mario? Excellent. I have, uh, I have Mario Maker on the 3DS, but I haven't played it a whole lot. I hear the, uh, the, it comes with like a hundred, uh, pre-built stages. I hear that that set of a hundred stages is worth playing. dull stage. I decided for the ladder not to bother trying to collect the three big coins on each level. What? How could you tell me something like that? <laughs> You're breaking my heart, Sparrow. You're not collecting the three big coins. They're worth playing without giving away too much for the later levels. I hope you're good at solving puzzles. <laughs> oh no, I'm pretty bad at the puzzle solving levels. Maybe I have to go back and get them to be able to finish the game, but I really hate that about the newer Marios. I just want to run through the level and make progress. It's not Sonic, uh, Sparrow. It's Mario. It's about taking time and finding secrets. Play, how, play however makes you happy, my friend.
what I really want to play is Mario Brothers 3 again. Mario Brothers 3 is good times. I have a version of Mario 3 on the Wii U that has a bunch of extra levels in it that I've never played. So we should do those at some point. What we're doing now in Mario Maker, we're playing on the normal uh, endless mode. And uh, we're... The goal is to clear as many lives as possible on a, er, clear as many levels as possible on a single life. <laughs> um, with the ultimate goal being 50 or more levels. So far my PB is 6. 10% <laughs> of the way there. It's rough. Uh, see if you have it on the virtual console. See if you do, because uh, because yeah, um, the the GBA release of Mario Three. It's called Super Mario Advance Four, Super Mario colon Super Mario Brothers Three, um, on on the Wii U virtual console. It may be on the DS. I don't know. It has a bunch of a uh, a bunch of uh, bonus levels. They were originally um, unlockable via a uh, trading card system that Nintendo had at the time, but for the Virtual Console release, they just made all the levels available. <clears throat> I'll check. Now I have a reason to hook it up to the TV. <laughs> Been loving WarioWare stuff. I really hope you happen across one of those games soon. If you don't have one already. I don't own anything WarioWare, Sparrow. I could uh, I could see about checking out the um, the one that came out on the Switch. I don't know if it's any good, but I could see about checking it out from the uh, from the library. But I don't. I don't actually have any uh, any of the games in my collection. Poison Mushroom Chase Speed Run. So two of the stipulations of this is you're not a, <laughs> and the run is dead. You're not allowed to pause, and you're not allowed to translate foreign language level titles or descriptions. I'm not sure which one that is, but the only version of WarioWare that let me down was the one on the Wii. Just a bit too different from the usual formula for my liking. Some of the some of these levels, I'm telling you. Dave Dingo, good to see you. Hope you're having a fine, uh, fine morning. Or afternoon if you are later in the world. Uh, things are going alright for me. Not, uh, not really super well in the game tonight, but, uh, 
Spirits are mostly high. WarioWare gave me a genuine cackle at some of the level designs. <laughs> They're equal parts clever and silly. Um, a hundred coins. Oh, I don't have very much time at all. Oh, no, this is horrible. Victory! I've actually never played this, but heard it can get really hard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Some of these levels are super bogus. They're just, uh, just nonsense. And what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to clear as many levels as possible on a single life. That's why I'm, that's why I'm so near the castle. I keep having to restart. May I ask, where on earth did the stiletto boot come from? Was that ever in the, the original game? It's never been in the original one. They added it for uh, Mario Maker for whatever reason. They just, they had fun with it. They did they did some really silly things. The, the stiletto boot is a, is a pretty nice one. You know, I, I like the, uh, I prefer the design of the classic green boot, personally, but no complaints about the stiletto one, either. <laughs> On a single life, that's insane. I know, it, they, it's something that, uh, it's something a lot of people have been doing lately. It's called the Iron Bros Challenge. And yeah, the the ultimate goal is to clear fifty levels. My my PB so far is six. I'm not allowed to take damage, and I gotta fight Bowser with a firepower. It's not hard, but it takes a while. Couldn't reconcile how it could have made an appearance in the original games. Um... I think you can get a red version of it, too. Uh, like Skinny Mario with the Skinny Mushroom and the OG Mario Maker. Oh, yeah.
the uh, the skinny Mario in the original Mario Maker. We refer to him as as PJ Mario because we have a friend named we have a friend named PJ who resembles Skinny Mario. I don't know if PJ knows we call him that though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my welcome in hello that uh that gamer chick great to see great to see you uh, thank you for the raid welcome in welcome to your friends tsunami sam shadow dragon uh is that bewitcher Welcome in. Welcome all. Hello, hello. Thank you for coming by. So, uh... I hope you're having a great morning. I hope you've had a wonderful stream. If you'd like to fill us in, uh, what were you doing in the retro category? That's, uh, that's my favorite place to hang out. If you want to use that uh, link there and the shout out, my friends, give that gamer chick a follow. That's what I'm doing right now. Just taking a look at your uh, about page. Variety streamer here for the memes. Usually stream at ungodly hours. <laughs> All right, we might be uh, we might be cut from the same cloth, you and I. I like the sound of that. I like your game list here too. Cuphead, Banjo-Kazooie, Mega Man, a couple Zelda titles, Hollow Knight. Fantastic. Let me get this window out of the way. I maybe I can actually see the chat. <laughs> I'm kind of throwing the challenge right now, but that's okay. Yet another princess. Welcome in. Wholesome raid. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. I did. Just started some retro achievements and uh, Chivo hunted Ocarina of Time. Right on. 34 of... Uh, of uh, seventy of, of ninety seven, almost a third of the way there. I would say good progress indeed. Found you through Doctor O. Remember hanging out here for a bit uh, when you were playing Hollow Knight. Right on. Doctor O has a great stream. I don't see. Uh, it's been a while. I don't see Doctor O enough. But I love uh, dropping in, especially when he's playing Mega Man. He plays a lot of Mega Man. Um, or at least I catch him playing a lot of it. I love his I love his welcome raiders message. It's worth raiding his channel just for that just for that welcome message. It's phenomenal. Shadow Dragon, thank you for the uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much, my friend. So what we're what we're doing <laughs> in Mario Maker? There's this thing, this thing called Iron Bros going around. It's a challenge. It's a challenge to play uh, normal mode, uh, endless normal mode, and to clear 50 levels in a single life. And uh, <laughs> there's supposed to be no pausing. That's why I've let my timer run out. And uh, no pausing and no translating level titles. No no getting any advantages. Just a blind playthrough, 50 random levels, one life. <laughs> so far, my PB is six levels. <laughs> I, 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 can, I, can only, I can only get halfway out of the single digits. I'm a disaster. <laughs> but we're trying to have uh, we're trying to have fun. My food just got here. I'm going to grab that and uh, stretch real quick, but I'll be back right on. No worries. Grab your food and uh, 
I hope that it, uh, I hope that it is delicious. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start back up here <laughs> in a moment my as my, uh, my time runs down and uh, Mario dies. Um, I will share if I may be allowed to, uh, if I may be allowed to boast a little bit, my, uh, my, my stream title, if you didn't catch that is not a lie. <laughs> I referred to myself as the uh, as the former normal endless world champ, and I I've got the proof. Right here, there is a photo of my television screen. Long ago, when I was number one, global rank one. <laughs> Pay no attention to that low clear count over there. <laughs> it, it's an insignificant detail that the game was new and no one was playing it. <laughs> uh, I'm yet to ask about those uh, photos above Frowny. That's uh, so the the yeah the top left is that's that's me and Jelly. That's our wedding photo. Uh, critically lit, uh, real quick. Critically lit. Welcome to the stream, and thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, my friends. Um, the the top left is a is, that's my and Jelly's uh, wedding photo, and the top right is it's just a piece of art that a Jelly made out of a photo of out of a photo of me. I uh, she uh, had something like a. Like one of those things, um, uh, our uh, Walgreens or CVS, they do uh, deals where you can get a nice print of a photo um, for a reasonable price every now and then. And Jelly likes to take advantage of those. I don't know where she found the effects. It's like a, it's like a, a digital like photo editor thing where you can play with uh, play with uh, pictures that you upload into it. And she just found some effects in there I've made some art out of a picture there's one of her too but it's hanging up on a different wall so you couldn't see it there uh no problem came in with uh that gamer chick raid got to take care of some stuff have a good stream thank you and uh, enjoy your lurk thank you for uh thank you for lurking thank you again for the follow but uh we yeah, have so when mario maker 2 came out i got it at midnight and uh, and i started playing the uh, i started playing the normal endless and i noticed you know, it gives you a global ranking, and I said to myself, this is my one chance at, at superstardom. This is my one chance if I uh, if I just play this game longer than everyone else and they all fall asleep, I can make it to number one before everyone else gets the game and everyone's playing it and the number's too high. <laughs> so you can bet, you can bet right at release, I marathoned the game until I reached that number one spot, and then I passed out for about four hours because it took me a very long time it took like 14 or 15 hours i don't remember exactly but i passed out for four hours after that and i woke up and what did i do i played more mario maker <laughs> because it's uh, it's a lot of fun even though i'm not super great at it as you if you hang around you're about to witness <laughs> you're about to witness this boast is a is a tremendous bait and switch <laughs> Uh, I'm uh, I'm mediocre at this game at best, but we're trying to we're trying to have some fun. We're keeping spirits high. Oh, I have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not bragging here, but I have one more detail I I, I have to point out because I'm just so happy that this happened by coincidence. If you look down below, you can see my uh, Nintendo 64 down there on the bottom left. And uh, when I, I shared this photo of my Discord recently, and uh, and uh, I was so overwhelmingly happy that the game that I have inside my Nintendo 64 is Castlevania. <laughs> because I'm one, I'm one of the eight people on the planet who love Castlevania 64. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy that my love of that game is well established by this old photo. 
I couldn't believe it when I saw of all the games that could have been in there. It was so perfect for me because I love that game and people, uh, people don't. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Enough, enough chin wagon though. GG on the global rank. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it was my one chance. It was my one opportunity, and I'm so glad that I took it. Because now, all these years later, I get to, um... I get to have an incredibly misleading stream title that is all technically true. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna back out of this. I, I died on this level, so we've got to, uh, we've got to restart. Enthusiasm above skills. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. So if you've come in with the raid, I guess uh, I guess uh, I said no more chin wagon, but um, I'll tell you a little bit about the stream while I play here. Um, I'm Frowny, of course, and I'm, I'm very glad that you've uh, that you've joined me this morning, my friends. Uh, I'm a retro variety streamer, primarily retro. Occasionally, I do something uh, kind of new. Mario Maker is technically new, right? And uh, I'm actually playing through Dark Souls for the first time as well, and boy, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> but uh, overwhelmingly, I'm a, I'm a retro variety streamer. I stream several nights a week, usually starting up around 10.30 p.m. Central Time, give or take. And we go for about six or seven hours usually. I like to prioritize a couple different types of things. We do very very strictly blind playthroughs of uh of classic games that i've never gotten around to um when we're not doing that i'm usually trying my hand at challenge runs that are way too difficult for me <laughs> like this or even just playing dark souls <laughs> or um uh more likely um uh, arcade style platformers like Contra and Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I like um, I like going for uh, deathless runs of games like that. I've done a couple games in the Contra series, a couple games in the Castlevania series, and have uh, lots of ambitions to do more. And I guess the third type of thing that I do is uh, I like to play a whole lot of uh, broken trash licensed games. <laughs> We just finished a marathon of, uh, I was playing every Powerpuff Girls game and every Scooby-Doo game that I could get my hands on. And that was a long two months. <laughs> I've come away with a bit of wisdom, though. If you, uh, if you absolutely must play a Powerpuff Girls game... I can tell you that the GBA games are the ones to look at. Mojo Jojo a go go is uh, is decent, and uh, him and Seek is actually good. So that's the only one I recommend. And if you absolutely must play a Scooby Doo game, don't. <laughs> The Scooby games never sink to the depths of the Powerpuff Girls games. But they never rise to the heights either. They are, All the Scooby games are kind of aggressively mediocre. But uh, we played about six or seven games in each franchise. And uh, as, as many as I could get physical copies of. And we played them through at least until credits. A uh, good number of them we 100 percented Even though that was a big mistake. Because I, uh, I take my, I take my jank trash very seriously. <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, Dark Souls is a lovely experience. I played that, uh, early in the morning some days. Great you found it. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Um, and I was, I have to say I was a little bit worried because I've heard that the, that the, uh, that the Dark Souls, uh, uh, fan community can be uh can be kind of a uh, backseat heavy <laughs> i was and so i was a little bit nervous but uh but so far i mean i've only played it one night but we did a, a, a stretch of several hours and everyone who came in was really uh 
It was really cool. They 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 respected my my insane stubbornness for for never wanting to receive help. And they the people have been very kind about indulging my uh, my suffering, <laughs> my desire for suffering. It's been rough. It's been rough. I've defeated the two, so far. I defeated the tutorial boss, and I was feeling real good about that. And then immediately in the next area, I've made it to a series of rooftops, and I'm kind of stuck on the top of the same three or four buildings. Uh, but I did eventually, after about after about three hours of being stuck in the same place, I did eventually realize uh, how to parry and how important knowing how to parry is. And while I'm still not good enough to do it very reliably, I at least appreciate that that's probably my best bet on a way forward. <laughs> Uh, two months, yeah, two months. I juggle a lot of stuff at the same time, so it wasn't just pure. Uh, it wasn't pure, unfiltered two months of trash games, but it it leaned very heavily into them. I started in in July. I was calling it Jankulai, and then it rolled over into Jankugust, and then it rolled over into Jank Timber, and I thought it would never end. Uh. Abby Jams, thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream, by the way. Sorry, it takes me a minute sometimes to catch the uh, the new follows, but uh, I definitely appreciate you uh, doing that. I definitely appreciate having you on board with us. Backseat heavy, you're not wrong. Some people were going to combust for not <laughs> for not being allowed to help. Yeah, but they were all really they were all really cool about it. So hopefully, you know, hopefully that, that streak continues. There are memes of playing a certain way, which there really isn't. I never parried. Uh, you are, hats off to you because without, the, without that ability, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't see any other way forward for me. <laughs> to be honest, even with the with even if I master the parry, I don't see a way forward. <laughs> it's a scary game, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it. We're gonna stick with it and try and beat it. I wanted to do something along the lines of that in January and do January, yes, but life got in the way. Unfortunately, uh, I can't keep consistent schedule because of work and life things. I, uh, they definitely don't uh, allow us the freedom that we would like to have, right? January is an excellent idea, though. We did a we did a we did a January this year. Um, I played uh, I played every ET game I could get my hands on. There's a shocking a shockingly high amount of ET games. <laughs> um, we played uh, we played six five or six et games and then a bunch of other random things uh sort of uh aliens was sort of the theme there were et games there were men in black games there was superman 64 there was shack fu he's uh there's an alien in that in that game <laughs> there was echo the dolphin and that lasted for six months Yeah, E.T. I beat, well, I beat, the thing was I beat E.T. on the Atari 2600. I beat that for the first time in December. And then, for whatever reason, that motivated me. I was thinking, why don't I see what other E.T. games there are? And there is a horrifically large number of E.T. games. <laughs> if you must play an E.T. game, I recommend Escape from Planet Earth on the Game Boy Color. It's a very mediocre game, but it's the best of the E.T. games. My favorite E.T. game is E.T. and the Cosmic Garden, also on the Game Boy Color. I can't really recommend that to other people because it's kind of repetitive and dull, but I liked it despite those things. <laughs> all the other ones are all the other ones are horrific trash. He beat it triumphantly. <laughs> E.T. took me forever to beat, too. The 2600 game 
that's a game with like a two minute gameplay loop and it took me like 12 hours to beat. There was one jank ET game that uh, Doc played the other night on the PlayStation 1. That's probably ET uh, Interplanetary Mission. That's a ET on the PlayStation 1. I don't like that game. <laughs> I'm sorry, my head's not in the game right now. <laughs> we'll get we'll get focused back up, and I will I will make a uh... well. It'll be an attempt of some kind. Where he collects all the mushrooms. Where are there mushrooms to collect? It's gotta be the it's gotta be the same game. It's been so many months now though, I can't I can't really recall the details other than how much I hated it. <laughs> but yeah, it looks it looks terrible. It pl it looks it looks bad and it plays even worse. I don't know how in the world I'm ever going to clear 50 levels in one life. I know I'm I know I'm dying. Sometimes the uh, the levels that kill me, I I feel like it's probably a good idea to to take a moment and try to play them all the way through. Um, the thought being that maybe the additional practice will benefit me somewhere down the line. <laughs> That part right there feels a, uh, a bit broken. <laughs> the Michael Jackson noises. <laughs> well, if the uh, if the clock is uh, if the clock is tight on this level, we are in trouble. I don't know how that... I, I see how that part is supposed to work. I don't know what I could do differently that would make it work, though. <laughs> Not the worst level ever, though it does that part that one part does feel a bit broken. From the top. So I, I believe I mentioned that my, my PB is only six levels. <laughs> you barely need two hands to count it. I've I've reached six levels twice. I've I've cleared six levels twice. I've cleared five levels. Uh, quite a few times. But there have been long stretches. There have been long stretches where getting a, a run off the ground has a... 
been impossible. <laughs> Do I have Minecraft for the Switch? I do, Sparrow. I've actually... I've actually considered playing a little bit of Minecraft on the stream, but I think that... I don't know. I've never, uh, I've never beaten the dragon in Minecraft. And, uh, it's, uh... It's been a little bit tempting to uh, to try and play it like a like a real game, <laughs> like a non like like not a creative toy, but like a, to play through it like a game, um, and see if I could uh, see if I could find and defeat the dragon. But I don't know. <laughs> That's not something I think I could do on my own. <laughs> It's not something I think I could do blind, because I don't understand enough about how the, uh, about how some of the things in Minecraft work. So if a, if a Minecraft stream sounds like a really great thing to you, I would say don't, probably shouldn't hold your breath. And if it sounds like a terrible thing to you, I would say you probably don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I was wondering what the online aspect is like. Greg and I might get a Switch uh, just for it, since we're playing uh, Minecraft so much lately. I, I couldn't tell you, Sparrow. I've only ever played it solo. In my experience, most of the things, well, most of the Switch Online is really hit and miss. So, like Mario Kart works, works, uh, works all right. Mario Thirty Five worked fine. I don't think Smash Ultimate works especially great, and Mario Maker Two's online is is horrific. But those are all Nintendo things. So, I, I mean, another. Someone else, you know, another 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 company might have better online support. I don't know. I think we didn't die. Oops. Can I even fit through here? No. What was that? I'll take that gladly. Hey, it's the red stiletto. I 
I think something's not right here. I'm pretty sure we're just supposed to make a puff of air and uh, knock this P-switch up into this uh, muncher, but that doesn't seem to work. Well, um, I suppose I've done something wrong. <laughs> this is the only, this is the only thing I can think to try and it's not a, it's clearly not the right idea. I don't know. I could leave us there for the rest of the time until the time runs out, but... I don't think that's a very effective uh, use of our... Uh, of our time together, my friends. I had to Google if I was correct calling it a stiletto. I'm not sure if that's quite right, but let's go with it. I think in the creative mode, when you place items... The game has a voiceover that that uh it names everything, and I believe the voiceover does call that uh, a stiletto. One piranha plant. All right, here we go. I didn't. I. I didn't see the thwomps. They're behind the clear condition. Oh my goodness. Just take a breath and uh, try to put that <laughs> try to put that behind me. All right, Cape Mario. We're halfway there already. Oh, I I <laughs> I have just done stunningly terrible at some of these levels. Got my cape, that's all I care about. Hope this works. Hey, we cleared a level. First try, even. Yake, welcome in. Welcome to uh, some Mario Maker. Trying to uh, clear as many levels as possible in a single life. My PB so far is 
a grand total of six levels. And I'm really struggling to come anywhere near that number again. All right, this is a don't touch the ground sort of level. So far, so good. We're two for two. I love Mario Maker. I'm terrible at platformers, though. I'll plat. You would, you would. Well, I I can present no evidence that I'm good at platformers tonight, but I uh, I do really love them. Right, star power required. There gotta be a star in from this pipe. There's not a star coming out of this pipe. I assume these pipes will kill me. I'm not really eager to go into any of them. I don't feel I don't feel good about any of this. I feel great. I feel great. Uh, more tired than I thought. I should probably leave a lurk and go get some rest. I hope the rest of the runs go well and you'll be able to make it to the double digits. Thank you, uh, Gamer Chick. Thank you again for the raid. It's uh, I really appreciate that. I hope that you uh, sleep well. Get some well-deserved rest. And uh, hopefully I'll get to see you again. I don't know how uh, how much longer we'll be uh, we'll be going. I'm uh, almost at a at a, a nine hour mark here myself, so this might be the last uh, this might be the last run we try. For noobs, all right. This is the kind of stage I need.
Mm. All right, I'm gonna make a foolish move. So far, so good. Four stages in, the dream is still alive. Super Mario. No! Probably the only mushroom. Well, even if I had made that mistake, I still it still looks like I wouldn't have made it through the level. <laughs> so, I guess I'm okay. Uh, all right, my friends. I wish I could have done better for us tonight, and I wish I could stream longer for you. But uh, we're about we're about at the nine hour mark. It's about eight a.m. for me, and I should probably tell you good night. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for being here, though. I really appreciate your company. We will try this challenge some more. Um, I probably won't pick it up again this week, but uh, I will uh, I will try to fit it onto the schedule next week, maybe also on Wednesday. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for being here, Yake. Sorry I'm, sorry I'm taking off uh, pretty shortly after you've arrived, my friend. But unfortunately, that's uh, just what I've got to do tonight. Thanks for the extended play, Frowny. No problem, Sparrow. Thank you for being here as well, my friend. Um, so I'm going to send us off in the direction of a raid. I should be back again tomorrow night around 10:30 uh, p.m. There's a good chance I, I may I may arrive a little late and or uh, in the stream a little earlier than we've been doing lately, but I'll try to let you know in the Discord what's up, uh, particularly regarding regarding the start time. Plan for tomorrow night is to continue our playthrough of Horus. Um, it's an indie platformer from a couple years ago. We just started it last uh, or yesterday, and it's a it's a really good time. And I'm already I'm looking forward to picking that one back up, and after that, we're gonna continue my first playthrough of Dark Souls, and see if I make any progress at all. <laughs> That's uh, tomorrow night, Thursday night. Uh, you know, about approximately uh, 14 hours from now, and uh, tomorrow night, Friday night on the stream. I guess day after tomorrow, 
depending on how we calculate time. Um, for the Friday night stream, uh, we're going to do a C64 uh, variety stream. Just a handful of Commodore games. Uh, most of them recommended uh, by viewers. Um, I've got a, a list that I'm going to sort of pull randomly from. And uh, we'll just play play those all night until I burn out. So uh, that's the plan there. <laughs> so hopefully uh, if, if either of those things interest you, my friends, hopefully I'll get to see you again. And if not for one of those, well, there's always uh, lots of different stuff going on in the stream. So you have plenty of opportunities to join us for, uh, for many other types of things. I've just got it on a piece of paper right now, Sparrow. It's just on the post-it in front of me. Um, but that's it, my friends. I'm going to send this in the direction of a uh, Nado Fet. I actually don't know this streamer. I I kind of met him through a uh, through a raid uh, quite a long time ago, but I don't think I've ever caught him live until now. He's working on uh, Majora's Mask, um, but I can't vouch for his content. So. Uh, we could find anything on the other side. Might be family friendly, might be not. That's on him, not us though, right? <laughs> but that's it, my friends. That's all I've got. Uh, take care, and uh, it's time to head out. Let's go on an adventure.